Alright, welcome back everyone to another video and in this one I'll be taking you all through the differences in basic structure and working of these three types of uh, solar charge controllers and these are uh, the PWM type, the MPPT type, the proper MPT type and the thing that says it's MPPT but it's just PWM. These two are my favorite sort of uh, solar charge controllers because they tell the truth. So this is uh, MPPT charge controller and this acts as an MPPT charge controller. This is a PWM charge controller and it acts as a PWM charge controller. This is my least favorite one because it's sold and it's designed to resemble a PPT solar charge controller. Now, but in actuality, this is just a regular PWM charge controller with a fancy a screen and some logic that at best works if it wants to um, this one works perfectly well uh, we're not going to turn any one of them on because I still have to set up my whole uh, solar charge uh, station and stuff like that but um, yeah these these two these three are sort of the good charge controllers uh, these two are the good charge controllers. this one not so much um, the one issue I have with both of these are uh, I think at least this one if not this one entirely uh, requires the battery to be charged up to a point so if you completely drain your battery it will not start up again it cannot start up from the power from the solar panels it will start up only from the, from the power of the battery itself and that is another reason why I hate this uh, particular design this will start up from the power of the sun and charge your battery this will start up from the power of the sun and charge your battery where this one will only start up from the power of your battery and then use the power of the sun to charge your battery so yeah at best avoid this particular kind but we are going to tear them apart and see what's inside starting with the most simpler one the basic pwm solar charge controller right let's uh, tear it to bits and there will be the dust involved so don't worry about that um, warranty void is removed um, yeah that we, we are way really past that So here it is a bit less dusty than I expected, but it's still dusty. I have to do something about that. Well, since that's all nice and clean, uh, here's your basic uh, PWM based charge controller. You have three MOSFETs here, M1, M2 and M3. You have a basic logic here um, and uh, this is a PIC microcontroller. You have state facilities. Now what happens on, uh, so this is specifically designed for lead acid batteries. Lead acid batteries are very resilient to over voltage uh, and under voltage charging and stuff like that. So you can actually pump 15, 16 volts into a 12 volt lead acid battery and it will still happily, happily charge. Now. Uh, with that said, this is what it's made for. There's no buck conversion. There's no boosting. There's nothing of that sort. All it does is the pick uh, controls the PWM output to the battery and to the um, to the power out to give a average of 14 volts. So if your son is so it it, it has a nice uh, point where it is at full efficiency where the PWM is near a hundred percent and that is when the sun the voltage from the solar panel is 14 volts um, and that time it will just open up the drain and it will let all of the current go into the battery nice and well and all of the current from the battery go into the uh, output terminal uh, to your load as well now if that's not the case if you are uh, if the if there's a lot of sun solar panels usually tend to go over to 15 or 16 volts and at that point the issue becomes that it will actually start PWing lower than a hundred percent, and that means you're not getting enough juice into the battery. Uh, although the sun is at a hundred percent, and then as soon as the sun drops below, say a twelve uh, twelve percent, uh, sorry, twelve volts, 
um, this will just completely cut off. There's no sort of buck boost converter built into it. Uh, this is just dumb logic to um, try and control uh, so that the battery doesn't get overcharged and just to control it. Um, and you know cut off when, when the battery is charged completely and stuff like that. So um, a bit more things you know uh, I mean load load balancing that the if there is the sun outside the battery doesn't get completely drained you use the uh, voltage from the sun as well as from the battery and stuff like that so uh, apart from that everything else is just to support everything else running fine uh, I guess um, yeah that's what it's as simple as that. just basic PWM programming here so we will set that aside uh, and we move on to MPPT now MPPT is maximum power point tracking uh, what that means is this has all the nice buck and boost features built in so even if your solo panel is 9 volts uh, but it has enough current so that this thing can boost it up to 12 volts 14 volts or whatever it can do multiple battery types um, uh, it will do that it will boost the voltage and if it, it's at 15 volts it will actually buck the voltage but in that case you actually get more current out of it because of switching power supply so this has switching power PSUs in build buck and boost uh, better load balancing better everything can carry large amount of currents uh, right here it says the max power is around 100 amp max current at once uh, rated voltage is 12 volts or, or 24 volts it will easily switch uh, and with 12 volt panel it will do a max of 1300 watts and with the 24 panel it does a max of 2600 watts um, yeah so this is the one that I have been using uh, since last I have had a solar panel which is quite a while ago so again the summer season again so I'll put the solar panels out uh, because I can get some amount of sun here at the, the place I live just there. there's, there's very little sun but uh, not not because we, we don't live in a sunny country like it gets around 48 degrees Celsius out here but um, just I, I live in a concrete jungle and like the build, buildings block the sun all the time and it's weird and I don't like it but hey um, yeah MPPT that's why I really need it to get every little bit out of the um, actual sun that's available uh so this is called maximum power point tracking there's actually a sun tracking system which um this kind of emulates is um you know the solar panel actually tracking the sun as the as the sun rises the solar panel actually shifts um and this just does that electronically kind of don't quote me on that uh and it does that electronically and from and you you just get much more out of your uh, system there we go so just out of the bat we have this plate being used as a big old heat sink uh, we have six MOSFETs one two three four five six here a couple of here so uh, they're probably doing different bug things. and I mean it's been sitting out more than enough so that it doesn't uh, so that it doesn't completely shock me with its capacitance i don't know if it has like big enough capacitance here but just in case and there it is uh that is less than what i would have expected all right so it, it looks like all the mosfets here are handling the buck and boost stuff uh so six of them here and i sadly don't see anything else so it's pretty bare or less than i would have uh, uh, hoped for uh but what you can see is actually the uh, power supply for the usb uh, here are one, two, three, four uh, current shunt resistors, so it's monitoring current uh, constantly. Uh, and then you have, I think, some uh, control circuitry here uh, to do the buck and boost stuff. And then there's a considerable lack of inductors, which makes me wonder if even this is doing proper um, MPPT. But I've I've seen it uh, like work. I've seen it boost voltages so maybe there are some inductors hidden hidden somewhere in between those pads doesn't look like it anywho 
there's a microcontroller in there and there's another LCD controller in there so that's what's doing your control stuff um, the amount of MOSFETs makes sense for buck and boost but the amount of in the, la the obvious lack of inductors don't there's a thermal probe here right um, I, I, I guess they are just not using inductors but that seems so weird um, there are op amps all over the place at least I can count four four of them but apart from that nothing much so yeah six uh, induct uh, six MOSFETs at the bottom and then you have six seven eight and then you have your other things all around the place so um, MPPT sort of has like a map internally built in or you can like set up what time of day it, uh, is getting how much voltage or it can learn uh, what time of day is getting how much voltage and then it can like do its calculations based on how much uh, power the panel can provide at, the, at any given time and yeah it just it just sort of tracks the power output of your solar panel like it's tracking the sun so it likes it, it fake tracks stuff um, but yeah, so more on MPPT later. I just wanted to show the differences uh, between the three circuit designs on the on three and, and basically the quality on the three uh, modules that I have here. So yeah, obvious lack of um, so pretty similar design, but like there's MOSFETs here and one here, so just three instead of eight. I mean, it could be all up to the uh, power limit, but let's see if the other thing is uh, the s is similar. But so um, yeah, pretty similar design. There are absolutely no current shunt resistors like uh, uh, we we had on this one, where there were like four current shunt resistors right at the input and the output. Um, there's like none here. Uh, there's R3 but that's that doesn't look like a shunt resistor to me um, that just looks like something else just a close up here uh, rather a lack of current shunt resistor there's also just like a LCD controller what I think and then the other chip is just some tiny pick no that's uh, that's not even a pick that's uh, LM something so that's an op amp here so same three op amps that one had for a lack of a microcontroller so that leads me to believe that this is not really programmable but also then what the heck's controlling the display probably everything's uh, into this particular micro here um, whereas on the other one uh, for comparison we have uh, what the LCD controller which is very similar and then another microcontroller over there and uh, that probably makes the MPPT bit work because the rest of it is pretty similar um, of course there's the external shunt resistors here which are completely missing on the other one um, you have your thermal probe and you have extra MOSFETs so um, so yeah so it depends on what sort of MPPT uh, controller you're buying but you know don't buy the cheap, cheap stuff or you're not getting any MPPT at all uh, and that is what ends up not working out for a lot of people and yeah so so this was basically the difference between the three uh, in terms of design and how they function I would recommend either buy if you do buy a if you're starting out by a GPWM controller like this one uh, with, with the current voltage rating for your panel and your batteries or uh, if you are going all in and and cheap trying to go all in and cheap uh, you know improve your game um, by this one which is again all of this is from aliexpress so um yeah um, and then if you are going proper proper then you know you're you're spending uh hundred at least thousands thousands of dollars um on something like that that if not tens on thousands of dollars and and that makes it so that you can you know at least 
you are running at 48 volts you have bigger batteries and you have proper controllers and maybe you even have like a tesla rooftop or something like that and uh, yeah this is just for like beginner kit kind of thing don't run your house house off of this thing it, it won't work um but yeah so here are the three charge controllers i've, I've played around with um in the future video i will do a vlog of setting up the solar panel which i'm planning on recording today uh, but i'm not entirely sure when i'll be able to edit it and upload that but so anyways thank you so much for watching and hope you um, like this video it and learned something from it and let me know in the comments if i miss something and i will add that to my next video about solar panels and solar charging and things like that I, I missed a few screws here so again uh, as i assemble this pack thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one